It's been a hell of a few days, Amy Robach and TJ Holmes cautioned against recording the most recent episode of the podcast. When Amy Robin and TJ Holmes got a warning not to record their latest podcast episode, they weren't going to back down. The two disregarded orders to remain silent during a significant reorganization at a BC where they had previously worked. Rather, they made a big statement to kick off their Amy and TJ podcast. Robach and I received a warning that we shouldn't record this podcast episode right before we put on our jackets and left the house to get to the studio to record it. Thus, welcome to this episode, everyone. It had been a hell of a few days, he said, but they were resolved to not give up. She is renowned for having caused Amy and TJ to be fired from GMA3 following the revelation of their relationship. Since then, TJ claimed they've received a ton of texts and messages on the news. It's interesting because I think maybe many of you, and certainly some of my friends and family, expected me or us to feel some sort of vindication or that we felt like justice was served now that Kim Godwin is gone, Amy said, taking the lead and going into further detail about her feelings towards Kim's departure. However, that is untrue, and I want to make that very, very clear, Amy continued. We didn't experience any of those emotions, nor did I. She continued by stating that she is genuinely sad for Kim. It's heartbreaking when someone gets fired, she went on. It's heartbreaking when someone quits a job they love, for whatever reason. And it's just unfortunate that this is how the narrative ended, considering everything we've gone through. Not one of us had intended for things to unfold as they did.